Hello everyone. Let us continue with the study of gene technology, immunology and computational biology paper. And uh, in this video, we will discuss about the gene transfer techniques. So what are gene transfer techniques? Uh, so we are studying from few uh, previous sessions, the recombinant DNA technology and uh, the different uh, enzymes used in that. So in the recombinant DNA technology, so we take DNA from one organism and then we insert it into a vector and then that gene has to be transferred to the target cell. So there are so many different types of techniques which can be used to transfer that gene into the target organism cell. So those constitute the gene transfer techniques. The methods used to transfer genetic material from one organism to another is called gene transfer technique. These techniques are used in genetic engineering to modify the genetic makeup of an organism to achieve a desired character. Gene transfer techniques are an important area of research in biotechnology, medicine and agriculture with many practical applications in these fields. So in our previous sessions, we already discussed much about how the gene is inserted and uh, how they are going to be transferred. So here we will uh, see uh, some uh, techniques of which can be used to transfer the genes. So there are many uh, techniques as I already mentioned. Some of them are transformation technique, conjugation technique, electroporation, liposome mediated gene transfer, transduction and direct transfer of DNA. So remember the technique which is going to be used by a researcher, it depends upon the organism. It depends upon the requirement of that particular experiment or uh, uh, the intention of the experiment. So depending on that, different types of techniques are used. A suitable technique is used by the researcher. Uh, for example, uh, to brief it with the help of a picture, you can see from agrobacterium tumefaciens bacteria, the TI plasmid is uh, extracted and with the help of restriction enzymes, so this is a cleavage site and uh, uh, this is the site where we are going to insert the gene of our interest. So this is a DNA which is obtained from a foreign source, I mean a foreign DNA which is going to be the source of our gene of interest. Okay? So using the same restriction endonuclease enzyme, this is cut and uh, this restriction site is also cleaved and then by using the ligase enzyme, we obtain a recombinant DNA. So this is a DNA which is having two different DNA molecules. One is the vehicle or a vector and this is the gene of our interest. And then uh, this is transferred to the bacteria. So this is where we talk about the gene transfer techniques. So first we need to transfer this recombinant DNA into the bacteria. So this is just one example I am telling. Here in this case it is transferred to bacteria and then these bacteria which contain uh, the recombinant DNA, the bacterium is used to insert the tDNA carrying the foreign gene into the chromosome of a plant cell. Then the bacteria is made to enter into the eukaryotic cell like a plant cell or animal cell. So here in this case it is made to enter into the plant cell. So now the plant cell has the gene of our interest. So this is a gene of our interest which is obtained from one organism and now using this technique we transferred it to a plant cell right and uh, this plant cell okay, which contains the gene of our interest is grown in a culture medium and uh, the plant cells which grow in a culture medium so they develop into a plant. Now this is a plant right 
So this plant is carrying the gene of our interest. So we transferred gene from one organism into a plant. Now these genes will be expressed in this particular plant. Say for example, uh, let us assume if this is the gene uh, which is obtained from uh, one plant to produce uh, one organism which produces uh, say beta carotene uh, which is main component of vitamin A. Right. So now this plant will be producing that particular product, a protein like this. So this you can call it as a transgenic plant because now it is having a foreign gene and it is expressing it uh, very successfully. So like this, the gene transfer technique plays a very important role in genetic engineering. Gene transfer techniques, uh, the process uh, can be summarized. Identification and isolation of gene of interest. So this is the main step. And uh, using uh, different techniques, enzymes like endonucleases and PCR, etc. So you are going to do this. Then identification of the target organism for the transfer of gene. So uh, in the experiment, we have to uh, decide the suitable target organism where we want our gene to be expressed and isolation of suitable vectors or gene transfer method for transferring gene of interest into the target cell. So this is where uh, we are going to select that suitable gene transfer method. Then uh, using the suitable technique, we are going to transfer the gene, right? And then once the gene is transferred, the target cells are going to be screened for uh, the successful incorporation of the uh, DNA, right? So the DNA which we have uh, introduced, whether it has become part of the target cell or not, that is going to be screened using the different methods. And then the cells with recombinant DNA are used for desired purpose. So uh, once the screening is done, the cells are utilized for the further purpose. There are two different types of uh, gene transfer techniques, direct gene transfer and indirect gene transfer. So in the direct gene transfer, in the direct gene transfer, the desired gene is directly inserted into the target cell using techniques like chemical mediated gene transfer, where we use different chemicals uh, so that the gene can enter into the target cell. Microinjection, electroporation method, liposome mediated method, etc. So uh, there are large number of direct gene transfer techniques which can be used. And indirect gene transfer, uh, it mainly uses the recombinant DNA uh, transfer using a vector like plasmid or phage vector. So this is indirect. And here the gene of interest is directly transferred. So these are the two main types of gene transfer techniques. Of course, uh, we can categorize the gene transfer techniques in other ways also like chemical methods, physical methods, etc. So applications. Uh, so gene transfer techniques, uh, they are just part of the uh, genetic engineering. So whatever the applications we talk about uh, the genetic engineering or recombinant DNA technology, the same applications uh, we can say for gene transfer like technique, like they are used in gene therapy uh, and uh, cancer treatment, vaccine development, in agriculture to produce the transgenic plants and bioremediation uh, for environmental purposes and in the research to study the gene, gene expression products, etc. Now here, uh, let us just uh, go through the names of some techniques. Uh, as far as our syllabus is concerned, we need not study all of them in detail. But uh, let us familiarize ourselves with the names of uh, the techniques which are commonly used for gene transfer. So natural methods of DNA transfer. So in the nature, the DNA is transferred from one cell to another cell. 
so it is there in the nature there so it naturally happens uh, among the organisms so they are conjugation which is observed in bacteria and bacterial transformation so transformation and conjugation are the two methods which are mainly observed in uh, uh, bacteria where uh, the dna is transferred from uh, one bacterial cell to another bacterial cell then transposition phage transduction where uh, the phage virus infects and transfers its dna into the bacteria retroviral transduction so retroviruses so one kind of uh, viruses uh, which uh, have the genetic material uh, i mean rna is the genetic material in these retroviruses so they actually transfer the rna and rna produces dna so that's why it is called retrovirus agrobacterium uh, tumefaciens so uh, these bacteria uh, they infect the plant cells and uh, transfer their dna normally they cause tumor you know, in the plant cells so like this gene transfer techniques i mean the dna transfer methods are already there in the nature in these forms and uh, in the genetic engineering in the recombinant dna technology some artificial methods are developed by researchers so they are as again i told you uh, we can categorize the methods like this also like physical methods chemical methods and electrical methods so in the physical methods macro injection and micro injection so uh, as the name suggests the dna of our interest can be directly injected into the nucleus of the target cell so that is the micro and macro injection technique protoplasm fusion so where uh, the two cells uh, are going to be fused where they are going to exchange the protoplasm and the genetic materials between themselves so that is a protoplasm fusion technique biolistics transformation where uh, uh, some chemicals uh, i mean uh, biolistic transformation is a physical method where uh, gene gun i mean uh, so they are directly going to be bombarded into the uh, the dna is going to be bombarded into the target cells so that is a biolistics transformation and chemical methods a uh, dna transfer by calcium phosphate method uh, by polythene glycol method dea dextran for dna transfer so like this liposome media transfer a different type of chemical methods are also available electroporation and electrofusion are also uh, used uh, which are uh, uh, most popular method of gene transfer so uh, in the web let us see uh, some uh, more information so let us find out some more information about the gene transfer techniques so here you can see uh, what is gene transfer so we already understood insertion of unrelated genetic information into cells in the form of dna and uh, okay see here this is uh, one type of gene transfer called transformation this is natural so it naturally happens among the bacteria so the dna from one bacteria is transferred to uh, another bacterium conjugation so you can see here the difference between transformation and conjugation is there is a direct uh, contact between the two uh, cells so there is a fusion of plasma membrane of two bacteria and the genetic material is transformed so that is called conjugation so by conjugation method uh, bacteria exchange their genetic material and then we have transduction so transduction is the method of uh, transfer of dna by the phage right so using phage if the genetic material is transferred then it is called transduction then we have electroporation which is a electrical method where uh, simply speaking by applying electric current the permeability i mean so the plasma membrane property can be changed so that it takes up uh, it takes up uh, the genetic material from outside 
so in the normal condition the cell plasma membrane will not allow the dna fragments right so you just imagine this is a media the cell is present here the dna fragments of our interest are here and when we apply electric current so the dna fragments are going to be part of this cell so this is called electroporation so then we have liposome mediated gene transfer where uh, the dna is uh, uh, capsuled or it is surrounded by the lipid uh, molecules and it forms a liposome and this liposome uh, is surround uh, actually it contains the dna and that will be taken by the cell so through the plasma membrane it will enter into the cell cytoplasm and where the dna can become inserted into the uh, nucleus of the target cell then we have micro injection as i already told you so micro injection uh, technique where uh, the dna of the interest is directly injected into the target nucleus so that is micro injection and we have particle bombardment so as i already told you uh, biolistics uh, is uh, the technique which is commonly called particle bombardment so using a gene gun right the dna is directly uh, bombarded into the target cells so this is another technique which is commonly used in plant uh, uh, production i mean transgenic plant production so here in this uh, article they have given uh, some applications so gene transfer technology provides the ability to genetically manipulate the cells of higher animals so the main intention of the genetic engineering or uh, the recombinant dna technology is to produce the plants and animals with desirable characters so that is the main uh, uh, application of genetic engineering gene therapy so in the medical field uh, nowadays they are talking about gene therapy where these genes uh, gene transfer techniques so uh, introducing a normal gene by replacing a faulty gene uh, that can be uh, called as a gene therapy right so that is also being tried in medical field gene transfer has the potential to be significant tool for treating a wide range of diseases these genes are transferred via a variety of vectors including retroviral adenoviral and adeno associated virus vectors as well as non viral methods then uh, as far as plants are concerned we have soya bean cotton spruce papaya sugarcane corn sunflower rice maize wheat tobacco and other crops which are successfully transformed using biolistic method probably you know about the bt cotton the cotton uh, of which has resistance against the uh, pests like boll worm and uh, they have inserted a gene from bacillus thuringiensis bacteria that's why it's called bt so like this using biotechnology or using genetic engineering we can produce the plants which show the characters which are economically beneficial to us the micro injection technique works well for both primary cells and cells in established cultures electroporation can be used to improve the effectiveness of bacterial cell transformation or transfection so like this uh, we have different uh, uh, types of gene transfer techniques so that was about uh, the gene transfer techniques and uh, as usual i have given some reference materials here and you can also refer the resources from other uh, sources like internet and uh, textbooks so that's uh, for this session thank you